Welcome to the Buccaneers Country Club. <laughs> when I came here, I was afraid to walk around the campus. I was afraid I was going to get mugged. <laughs> this is a, I told Al some time ago, Al Cash, when I found out this was going to happen. This is by far the finest event award that I've ever received. I love this place. The brothers, Jesuits, I took the vow power here with both of them. But <laughs> <laughs> they should have a big reunion like this, a Hall of Fame now, to celebrate what the school has done academically from what they had when I came here in 55 to what they have today. This is unreal. A university. Uh, when I first came here, I hope I don't bore you with this, it's just something that happens. There were 735 schools playing college basketball. Christian Brothers College was 713. <laughs> now, anything we did would be on the way up. <laughs> Brother Stephen, with his little ducktails to always. We got along real well. We had the, we saw what we were going to do. We had an idea. We wanted to build this program with the small colleges. We didn't have the revenue that a lot of the other schools did. We played the best schedule we could possibly play. A lot of those schools are now just like you are, there are universities that we participated against. When also I came here, they promised me a summer job. You know what I did? I painted the damn high school for a dollar and sixty cents an hour. <laughs> now, uh, and that's a good story, that happened. Now, another point. They didn't have dormitories. They had some places across the street that uh, the school rented out and leased. And they gave my wife, my side, a couple of kids. We stayed over there and I was supposed to be the, I guess the prefect. And uh, for half, half my rent, after two weeks, I took advantage of a, what do they call it? A um, GI Bill. I had three years in the Marine Corps. The calls were coming in over there at two and three in the morning. That was the end of me. We were out of there. <laughs> and uh, we started out, there was a junior college. There were some players still left. And they were good. They were good players. And I brought back brought about four or five players with me from St. Louis. And we started on the approach to try to do what we could. We tried to pump our own tires. Brother and I spent a lot of time working on what we're gonna send out to various people around the country. All the major universities, all the major newspapers, the schools we played, the papers in the towns where we played. We tried to get as much publicity as we could. And we had a little, we had one, advantage. When I came here, when I got that GI Bill, or whatever the heck they call it, we lived out on the east side, and uh, St. Rosary's, Holy Rosary's was starting out with a new parish. And I coached a Pee Wee baseball team. And one of the players on my team, his father had happened to be the sports editor of the commercial field. So we got some pretty good publicity. I told him to tell your old man if he, if he doesn't take care of us, you don't play. <laughs> but I hope I was happy to see you tonight, brother. Oh, what the heck? He brought me, brother. What's, come on, brother. Terrence. Where is he again? Terrence. Huh? Terrence. Terrence. Yeah. He brought us the Vincennes connection. Brought us four, four or five players from Vincennes. 
and this guy was a hell of an athlete himself. The brothers here were so great. All the people in this town treated us very well. Uh, it was not easy, there was no doubt. And the other thing, you, had to, you ran into a situation with the colored situation. We were in the NAIA. Now, those are the teams that we played that were in the NIA. They could not go to that tournament because it's possible they would have had to play against a black player. We, the first time we got a chance to go, we wanted when our region had the mayor on the campus here. It was a big deal. They sent us. <laughs> He sent us to the uh, NAI tournament in Kansas City. I thought they were going to send me to the, to the guillotine or something. You know who our opponent was? Grambling College with Willis Reed. Oh, it's not. Every 93 points a game average. Uh, they were, we, we gave them a battle, though. We didn't quit. But the folly is, pictures were coming in the paper, showed all these black guys playing against us. And the phone was ringing off the hook here at CBC. Get your money somewhere else, CBC. It was definitely a racial situation. Hell, they don't know. Hell, I used to scrimmage on one college here. And uh, we, we started you know, with the high school. We got along real well. But it was difficult to get to gym and practice. We ended up sometime with an hour and 10 minutes a day half court. If the judge could get in shape, we have to better run outside in the woods. Before that, on Sundays, we'd get the gym. If the high school had a game on the road, we'd get the gym. Except the fact we got to practice over at Memphis State a couple of times, and if I got a kick out of the president. I sat with him one day, and uh, he couldn't wait till, our, till we built our program so we to, so they could play us. They had wanted no part of us, I guarantee you. Uh, but it, we can get along with them, there's no question. Now, the other thing, the closest we came to really, really getting some national aim, we played Ray Meyer DePaul in Chicago. Ray was a graduate of a Christian Brothers high school team, high school when he went. We, got, we lost the first time we played. I guess we lost by 11 or 12 points. The second time we played, a minute to go, we're down one. They got the ball. They're coming down, and I'm praying. I know they're going to put it on ice. With the rules then, we didn't have the three-point shot, and you could hold the ball as long as you wanted. So they came down, and their best player Went across the free throw lane, he's right-handed, he goes to the left and shoots the damn thing. And I'm oh baby, that's great, but it goes nothing but the net. So now they're up three. We get the ball, we go down, shoot, we miss, foul, I think we lost by five. Ray Meyer would not play us anymore. We went down to Centenary. The first time we ever saw our name in the uh, the, uh, what do they call it? How much they're supposed to win by the orders? I sat there, it was favored by five. This is a major school. We went in there and beat them. I knew we were going to be all right because one of the officials was an American League baseball umpire, so I know we wouldn't get the shaft. And uh, we got a good game, we won the game. Uh, we fell. After that DePaul game, Quincy College used to have a, before the season, they would invite seven or eight schools they thought were going to be pretty good in a Christmas tournament the following year, and we were invited. But here we go again. Where do you think we played the first round? Tennessee State. They've won the NIA more than any other school in the country. And, uh, oh, I couldn't believe it. But it worked. But we won the Consolation Championship. We beat Youngstown State. But I want to congratulate all you people who were being honored tonight and all the guys that, that I ever had four years ago. I think it was Al 
Wayne Claiborne, and some of the other guys, they had a reunion here for all our as many players as we could get back. I think 40, we had 40, 42, 34, 2 Everyone had their degree. That's what I was proud about. Everyone had their degree that showed up here. And two years ago, you people here, still a CBC, the final four of Division Two. You know what? Division Two is the same as Division One, with all the rules except I think Division Two you can have you can transfer. You have transfers back and forth if you want. But you do think this is I, I just can't I just love this place. And uh, one thing I have my son here, Steve. My uh, my wife couldn't make it. She's a lifer. We've been married 61 years. And uh, when I left here, I went with my final former college coach at St. Louis U, I mean, Mr. Marquette. I went because of fringe benefits. If I could stay there, keep my nose clean, and not get in any trouble, even to stay as an assistant, all my kids could go there for nothing. It worked out that all five of my children graduated from Marquette and two of them got to go to law school. It didn't cost me a dime. See, I realize it's coaching. Players win games. Don't give me that stuff about coaches. Just like Kentucky, they got the best, they got the best team that they can buy, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you people ought to know you had the guy down here. So <laughs> no. Thank you very much. Continue success. Oh, Al and this guy over here, Lowry. We've had some great ones here. And you people have done well. One other thing. Some years ago, the athletic director at uh, Laws College invited me to come down to Laws and talk to the people down there to, about having a college tournament, small college tournament around the Christmas holidays. It became a reality, and who do you think we had in there? CBC was in there a couple of times, and they did very well. One of my, my former teammates, the same as you, ended up on national TV as an analyst, Ed McCauley, Ann Myers, the women's, she was doing national television for everybody, and CBC was in that. They've done, but you've done so well here. You've done it, oh boy. But you got dorms now, what the hell out of here this <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and continued success.